Okay, so in this problem, we're told a mass resting on a horizontal frictionless surface is attached to one end of a spring. The other end is fixed to a wall. It takes 3.6 joules of work to compress the spring by 0.13 meters. If the spring is compressed and the mass is released from rest, it experiences a maximum acceleration of 15 meters per second squared. Find the value of A, the spring constant, and B, the mass. So the first thing you always want to do is write down your given and draw what's going on. So we have this mass here. It's going to be connected to this spring, which is against this vertical wall. And we know it's horizontal, right? And so we're given some other information, such as uh, the amount of work it takes, right? 3.6 joules to compress a distance of uh, 0.13 meters. Uh, we're also given the maximum acceleration it's going to experience uh, when it's let go, right? And so, uh, yeah, and what we're trying to find are two things. The spring uh, constant K and the mass M. So these are the two values we want to find. We're going to find them in A and B. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about how we're going to solve this. So the first thing we need to realize is that the work done, right, the work done on the spring, right, which is 3.6 joules, is equal to uh, the potential energy. So the elastic potential energy, 1 half k, uh, you can say kx squared or a squared, where a and x, all they do is just represent uh, basically the distance that you're compressing it. Right, because I know when I compress this spring, it's going to build up some elastic potential energy, right? Because you can imagine when I push on this string, uh, spring and then I let go, it's going to push back, right? So what we're building there is elastic potential energy, and that's why it's going to go backward or go after compressing it, right? So after releasing it, it'll go, and that's the result of the elastic potential energy that's built up, right? And I know the amount of work this is going to take is 3.6 joules, and then I know the distance I'm going to be compressing it, which is the amplitude, you could say. Uh, and then, yeah, so I could just easily solve for k by using this formula. And uh, yeah, so plugging this stuff in, 3.6 joules equals 1 half times k multiplied by the distance compressed, 0.13 squared. So I would multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half. So 3.6 times 2, that is 7.2 equals k times 0.13 squared. Uh, and then I'm going to divide by 0.13 squared to get k by itself. So 7.2 divided by 0.13 squared. That'll give us a value equal to 400 and 26. And then the units of this are newtons per meter. So uh, the spring constant k for this question is 426 newtons per meter. Uh, and yeah, so that's your answer to A. Now let's go ahead and move on to B. So in B, what they're asking us to find is the value of the mass. So the way we're gonna do this is by understanding a couple of things. First is the spring or the formula, Hooke's law, which tells us that the force is equal to K times X. So if we know the spring constant, and we know the distance it's compressed, we can figure out the force that's going to be, uh, right, the force done by the spring, right, on our mass here. And if we know that, uh, we know that this force, kx, right, if you just sum the forces on it, you can imagine, we know that the sum of the forces, in this case it's just kx, equals the mass times the acceleration. So obviously this force is, can just be represented in ma, right, because f equals ma. So this basically tells us uh, if we want to find the mass, right, it's just going to be equal to the spring constant times the distance that it's compressed uh, divided by the acceleration. So basically the force that you're going to uh, right, push off with, with it, which is F equals KX, right, the force generated by our spring, right, due to Hooke's law. And then you divide by the acceleration or the max acceleration, uh, and that's just going to give you the mass of the object. So just using F equals MA and Hooke's law there. So K, we said, was 426, uh, and then X was 0.13, or the distance compressed, uh, multiplied by the max acceleration, which was 15. So let me go ahead and plug this in. So when you do this, you're going to get a value equal to 
Uh, yeah, so 3.69, we're dealing with mass here, so it's in kilograms. And uh, yeah, so 3.69 kilograms, that's going to be your answer for B, so your mass. Uh, and yeah, so just a quick rundown of what we did. We knew that the, the work done is equal to the elastic potential energy, basically, right? So we knew that it's going to generate so much work, 3.6 joules after compressing 0.13 meters. So I could solve for the K value, then we get, then we get the spring constant. Uh, and then for B, I know the force that it's going to be right going or pushing out with basically, right? When we uh, move, right, when we release it is equal to F equals KX, which is F equals MA. So just set them equal and then solve. Uh, yeah, so these right here are going to go ahead and be your answers. And hopefully you found this video useful.